Nice thing is, we've climbed up in elevation here. It's a lot nicer. It was miserable there for the first like two miles. It was hot, 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 hot. But now I'm getting excited because I'm looking around and there's just some like stunning, stunning country up here. Exactly what I was looking for. I don't know what the deer situations up here, but I'm feeling pretty good. So far it's just lots of does and one small forky buck up there. That was such a heartbreaker, man. I'm still bummed about that. That was close. Oh, rough night last night. I feel like I look rough too. getting ready to pack up and head out but before we do that we got to make some eggs right here this will be the last real food we have for a few days so first things first coffee eggs it's early got in late didn't get much sleep we got my boy Sean behind the camera right now and we got a long hike ahead of ourselves so gonna eat drink some coffee get packed up Hike in, find a big mule deer, shoot a big mule deer, come back out, drink a beer, drive home. So we got November, who's a sweetheart, and then we got Bella. Bella is a uh, my daughter named Bella, and Bella's got a little, she's a little jumpy as you can tell. You make me nervous, Bella. We had a little bit of a rodeo. I'm just trying to pinch you. He's a girl. A um, little bit of a rodeo last night, just getting out of the trailer with Bella. Are you gonna be alright on this trip? We're we gonna have any issues? We're we gonna have any issues? We're gonna be best friends by the time this trip's over. It's real important. Make sure that that pack on right. Strap through the withers. It's snug, but not too tight. How's that feel, November? Feel pretty good. Last thing you want is a llama rodeo. Nobody wants a llama rodeo. Early August and we're in Nevada hunting archery mule deer. This is like hands down my favorite type of hunting to do. And I've never been in Nevada before, so I've never been to this place before. Brand new experience, brand new country. And I am just really excited to be out because I love hunting deer with my bow. So got two llamas uh, behind me here and we gotta pack into our first camp tonight and we're just gonna pack in, look for deer and just keep cruising through the mountains till we find what we're looking for and hopefully all goes well, I'll get a chance at a, at a buck, which is really what we came here to do. First llama crop of the trip. November decided to uh, lay down on me already. Not a good sign. I'm not even halfway to where we're trying to get to today. Whew. Oh my gosh. I love llamas when they're packing my stuff. Man, they can be a problem. So if you're out there and you're like, oh, llamas seem great. You just like put stuff on them. They just carry your weight. I'm like, that's the end of it. No. 
Sometimes yes, but oftentimes you have to deal with stuff like this. See the llama back there? I left him and now I've been hiking. He will follow us, hopefully. But he wouldn't get out of the trail and I couldn't get him to move. So now I'm gonna carry this llama. They're a social creature, so they don't like being left alone. So this is a little llama trick. November's gonna continue to be a pain, but I'm gonna just leave you with it. Back up. Kinda got through the canyon section. We haven't had any llama drama for a little bit. Now it's kinda open. We got another couple miles to get to the lake we're gonna try and head to tonight. And it's just unbelievably good looking country. Even if I don't shoot a deer, like I just love checking out new country. I just love being in the mountains too, so I'm I'm happy already. If I walk out of here with no deer, obviously I want to, but if I do like that's totally fine. better Now that we spotted our first deer of the trip, we're gonna head up that to that ridge up there. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. And spend the evening up there glass on the other side. Which is really what I really came here to hunt was the other side of this ridge. But it's a good sign to see some see some deer. Always good to see deer. Four bucks now. Nothing, still nothing I'm like terribly excited about, but it's good to know they're here. It's notable though, they're like, we're seeing lots of does and fawns down low, but the only bucks we've seen so far have all been up high, which is like pretty standard for me. I don't know what I see, but like there should be some bucks down on the floor too. But I'm gonna mark these bucks now that they're here. We're gonna keep moving around looking for some new country. That concludes day one of scouting. So I had a total of 12 bucks today. Uh, quite a few does and fawns. But surprisingly, the country that I thought was gonna be really good turned out to really not have many deer. At least we didn't see many deer around here, so. 
We're gonna come up with a game plan for tomorrow for a second day of scouting. See what we find. Hopefully a little bit bigger buck than we saw today. But if not, we'll figure it out. Alright, let's go back to camp. Good morning. This is our first full scouting day. It's our second day of being here. And it's like 5.15 in the morning. It's already really bright out. So we're gonna try and get a full day of scouting in the day. Hopefully turn up something nice today. You know we've got one decent buck over there. But I'd like to find something bigger for opening day, which is tomorrow. So fingers crossed we'll find something. About midday and got the first leg of our journey for today over with so we're packed out kids are in the trailer it's hot now we got to drive to an even hotter spot when it's gonna be even hotter during the day and walk about 3,200 feet in elevation up and five and a half miles in should be pretty easy uh, so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna have a beer before we go because it's hot. I'm kind of tired already. <laughs> Can't imagine the worst time to leave the trailhead from two o'clock in the afternoon on August 9th. And yet here we are. We're getting towards the evening and we're getting close-ish to where we want to be tonight. Been a haul though, but nice thing is we've climbed up in elevation here. It's a lot nicer. It was miserable there for the first like two miles. It was hot, 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 hot. But now I'm getting excited because I'm looking around and there's just some like stunning, stunning country up here. Exactly what I was looking for. I don't know what the deer situations up here is that going pretty good. About our choice, painful as it is. We probably got another couple miles to go, I guess or so, but it feels pretty good. Well, we made it to our destination. It took us all day to bail out and come to new area. So far, I'm just seeing does, but I'm sure there's bucks around. Nothing yet that I'm wanting to stock in on. I might hold out for something just a little bit bigger, at least for the first like day or two. I mean, if the push comes to shove, I will, I will try and kill a smaller buck, but I'd like to at least. 
try and find a little bit bigger buck before I settle on something like that. 